Hey viewers, for those who mark our trips around the sun according to the Gregorian calendar, Happy New Year! I wish all of you a year of peace, happiness, and good health. Now, I thought a video about photography trends in 2023 might be fun. It seemed like a lot of work, so I went to OpenAI and asked it to give me a thousand-word script about trends for 2023 in the style of Tony Northrup. I thought the script was pretty good, so with apologies to Tony, an artificially intelligent avatar is going to read the script word for word and unedited, just as created by ChatGPT. It's hard to believe that we're already talking about the photography trends for 2023. But time flies, and the field of photography is always evolving. Here are my predictions for what we'll be seeing in the world of photography over the next few years. Uh, first and foremost, I think we'll see a continued emphasis on the use of artificial intelligence, AI, in photography. AI-powered software is already being used for tasks like image editing and tagging. I expect this trend to accelerate in the coming years. AI could potentially be used to help photographers sort through and select their best shots, or even to assist with the creative process by suggesting compositions or edits. Uh, mobile photography is also likely to continue its rise in popularity with the proliferation of smartphones with high-quality cameras, it's easier than ever for people to take and share photos. And this trend is only going to continue. I wouldn't be surprised if we see even more advanced camera features and capabilities being added to smartphones in the coming years. Sustainability and environmental responsibility are also likely to be major trends in photography. As more and more photographers and consumers become aware of the impact of their practices on the environment, we'll see a push towards more sustainable techniques and technologies. This could include the use of eco-friendly materials in camera production, as well as efforts to reduce energy consumption and waste in the photography process. Virtual reality, VR, and augmented reality, AR, are also likely to make a big impact in the world of photography. VR and AR technology has come a long way in recent years, and I think we'll see more and more photographers experimenting with these immersive mediums. Imagine being able to step inside a photo and explore it in a fully immersive 3D environment, or overlaying virtual elements onto the real world through your camera. The possibilities are endless. In terms of specific camera trends, I think we'll see a continued push towards mirrorless cameras. Mirrorless cameras offer many of the same benefits as DSLR cameras, but with a smaller, lighter design that is more portable and easier to use. I also expect we'll see more and more photographers using drones for aerial photography as the technology continues to improve and become more accessible. And, and finally, I think we'll see a continued emphasis on storytelling in photography, whether it's through photojournalism, documentary work, or simply capturing a moment in time Photographers will continue to use their craft to tell compelling stories and communicate important ideas. Overall, it's an exciting time to be a photographer. I can't wait to see what the next few years bring. Whether it's AI, mobile photography, sustainability, VR, AR, or storytelling, I'm confident that the photography world will continue to evolve and innovate in ways we can't even begin to imagine. Well, I thought that was a pretty good response, combining the best of artificiality and intelligence. <laughs> you wouldn't think that AI could predict the future. And I resisted the temptation to edit, so that's exactly as it came. Certainly saved me a lot of work. Yeah, but it is a very general overview. It's short of specifics. And nothing about higher resolution sensors with faster readouts, improved autofocus, object detection, or new video codecs.
And interestingly, no mention of the biggest trend, the state of the market and issues like manufacturers and vendors closing their doors, lower sales, fewer models. Well, I'm sure it won't be long before AI systems will also read the script with myself or Tony as a lifelike avatar. And I asked for in the style of Tony Northrup, but also tried in the style of David Pogue. I used the Tony influence response because it mentioned mirrorless cameras, which the Pogue response didn't. Now, in future posts, if I decide to use AI to generate or rewrite a script, I'll let you know at the start of the video and in the description, as I did today. And if you haven't played with ChatGPT, do it now. It's fascinating. And using the tool enables you to see how it works, which, if nothing else, helps you to identify other texts where it was used. And if you're thinking about using ChatGPT, it has a tell. The first word of the last paragraph is nearly always overall. So if you read or hear someone start their conclusion with overall, now you know. Uh, of course, it won't be long before the chat GPT algorithm is fixed to stop doing that. Now, here's my conclusion, rewritten by chat GPT in the style of Gerald Undone. In this video, you won't see any ads. Not the kind that come from a sponsor who pays me to say something, and not the kind that interrupt the video in the middle. My sponsors are my members, who allow me to be less commercial. If you'd like to support me by becoming a member, just click the Join button below the video. And if you have any thoughts that you'd like to share, I'm always happy to hear them. I'll reply to any relevant questions and civil comments uh, thanks for watching and stay safe.